Alrighty then, I'm settling back down, transitioning back over. How's everyone else doing in the live chat? I uh, hope you're enjoying the stream, uh, because I'm enjoying myself actually reading this. It, in the, I'm finding this, um, uh, the essay to be like uh, fascinating, because yeah, I, I, I like Elmer Tesla's uh, writing. It's where he doesn't have the the complex language, and it's like the. the it, I don't like the writing because it seems more more accessible. It's just like it could be so packed and dense with like ideas, uh, as it were. But as as theory goes, it is kind of like quite accessible, you know, which I think is why it's Ergo Mathos's uh, intentions to be able to like for many people to understand it. Um, which is why it's so like strange when people talk about like anarchists and oh, it's just an act so way too academic. And granted, there are many anarchists that probably are way too academic. Uh, I could be accused of that because I'm just reading theory on Twitch. But um, there is something to be said of like uh, the writings of like Eric and Tesla and others, uh, where it's just like a like anarchy is just a pamphlet. It's short. It's not like a thick book. It's not like big, but it is very accessible as well. And yes, thank you, Linmu. Yes, we are. I am raising money for my friend Phoenix. Um, is just like uh do like uh help uh have some food uh, funds uh for the next week until uh, they get their SNAP benefits out on the sixteenth. Fun fact is, I'm not sure if this is true for Phoenix. They live in a blue state of Maryland, but um from what I know, um food stamps you only get sixty dollars a month for per person. Uh, federally, at the federal level, and that was set up in the 1960s, which would have been fine, but the the food budget is probably more like $200 for like one person a month. Huh, and they didn't really snap to at least be that amount. Huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it's not, it, well, not this, it's not six zero. it's sixteen one six. What is the federal amount of food stamps a month for one person? So if you got two people, like a, a mother and a child, uh, then it is like, yes, yikes. That's what I understand it. And I researched this data, and it seems like, yes, it seems to have not changed since the 1960s. And yet the minimum wage still hasn't changed since 2009. But anyway, um, going back uh, to the essay, uh, reading Erica Matesla's Anarchy and Violence, the remix version, the 1924 remake. Um, anarchy means nonviolence. means Nonviolence, non domination by human beings over human beings, non disposition by force of will of one or more over others. Anarchy can and must be triumphed only through a homogenization of interests and brought about by voluntary cooperation, love, respect, mutual tolerance, persuasion, examples of mutual benefits of goodwill. Anarchy is a society of brothers and sisters living freely in solidarity with one another and which assures to all the maximum possibility amount, amount of freedom, the greatest possible degree of development and benefits. There are certainly other people, other parties, other schools as sincerely devoted to the general good as there are the best among us. But what distinguishes the anarchists from all the others is the is precisely the horror of violence, the desire and the proposal to eliminate violence, material violence that is from human affairs. Thus it can be said that the specific idea that distinguishes the anarchists from the rest is the abolition of the professional police and the exclusion from a society of order imposed by brute force, whether legal or illegal. Um, I do want to like uh, uh, add this as well. It, yeah, I can definitely uh, tell that like after a disagreement I had with a liberal, um, they were, you know, it, it kind of got like going back and forth and stuff like that. And, and they said, "Oh yeah, we're going to vote. I'm going to vote for Biden in the general, which yeah was important to do so, uh, because I'd rather be shot in the leg than be shot in and in, in the head, or well, at least I don't get a weekly beating from Biden as opposed to a daily beating from Trump." And I was just like, "Why are you okay with still just getting a beating, generally speaking?" And and was. Uh, I'm going to point it out, like, but people are dying already. Hey, so you're just like, hey, well, yes, people are dying already, but less people will die on the Biden. And so at the end of it, the circle said to me, hey, listen, you and I, we want the same thing. We want a better world. And I 
resisted saying that yeah but like i don't want uh, i don't i don't think we want a better world or we do want a better world in a vague sense but you want to have capitals and still be around as well as a small business owner though um and I think that like capitalism and and one being able to own a small business is opposed to a better world as well. So we'll disagree immediately on tactics as well and process. Because uh, they just because uh, they probably are fine with like uh, some policing of some kind, not necessarily in the current form, but some policing because you got to have laws and you got to like enforce the laws. But that's what uh, the Arkham out of Tesla is saying right here is like, no, we're against that in imposing and by brute force, whether illegal or illegal. Uh, continuing on, I want to check something first, actually. Um, okay. But then, it, continue on. But then, it may be asked why, in the present struggle against the political and social institutions which they deem to be oppressive, has have the anarchists preach and practice as they do continue to do, where they are able, the use of violence means which are in clear contradiction with their ends, and this is to the point at which may. The many adversaries have honestly believed, and all adversaries of bad faith have claimed to believe, that the specific characters of anarchism is precisely violence. The question may seem an embarrassing one, but it can be answered in a few words. For two people to live in peace, both must want peace. If one of two insists on trying to force the other to work for him and serve him, while the other wishes to preserve human dignity and not be reduced to the role of abject slave, slave, the latter, despite love, peace, and harmony, will be forced to resist with all possible means. Even like a this like a philosophy professor in a, in a series of lectures uh, said that like referring to like Kant, uh, where it, it was it, it quoting like Kant, but like stating what the compass means, just like don't use others. That philosophy professor, this was back in the early nineties, uh, said, which is you is very hard to do under our current system of capitalism, because especially. Business owners and other people, uh, especially capitalists, are using people. When you work for someone else, that someone else is using you. Period. So I'll come out of Tesla is like pointing that out. And yet, some people believe that um, is our current economic system is was is just our natural way of things. Like they're always going to be hierarchies, or you're going to have bosses. Okay, well. You know, there are people that said, well, you got to have kings or there's always been kings or they can't see a world without kings as if not. No, they, they got to have kings or else how well would like others uh, be able to like um, live as well. Uh, so continue on with the essay. Suppose, for example, you come into conflict with some uh, Dumian type uh, gangster. It's a footnote uh, in saying that the Dumian was an Italian fascist, a hitman responsible for a uh, number of murders of anti fascists. Uh, footnote from the editor. I uh, continue on. Close footnote. And he is uh, armed and you are unarmed. And he is surrounded by a big gang and you are all alone or with just a few companions. He is confident of going. And unpunished, and you have feared the eruption of the scene of the Cabernet, uh, who will arrest and uh, mistreat you and throw you into jail and for uh, a in indefinite time. Then tell me if you could escape from your predicament by pursuing the dooming type with good arguments to be just, good, and gentle. Mm -hmm. If someone is like, if the mafia is showing up to just like break your arms or something for like not making the payments as a war, how is that fair and just that like you equally agree to peace? Continuing on. Um, the source of the ills which makes, uh, which has possessed uh, humanity, a part, of course, for those which originate in natural force manure, is that people have failed to understand that agreement and cooperation are the best ways of producing the greatest good possible, the greatest possible good, that the strongest and the most cunning have sought to suppress and exploit the rest, and when they manage to gain their advantage, they have sought to secure and perpetuated by creating all kinds of permanent forces of coercions in their defense. 
This is why the whole of history is fought with bloody strife, arrogantly bullying injustices, ferocious oppositions on one hand, rebellion on the other. There is no cause to draw distinctions between sides. Anyone, no matter who, who has desired emancipation or attempted to achieve emancipation has to, uh, has to oppose force with force, arms with arms. I mean, hell. Um... Uh, as I mentioned earlier in stream, uh, with Steve Shai's uh, views on the Confederacy, his or views on General Sherman's um, total war tactics against Atlanta uh, and the Confederacy, um, the Confederacy was willing to like fight and kill and, and fight and kill for the rights to be able to own slaves, as it were, to have power over others. They felt they were just in that. And some people still perpetuate that, like, no, there was nothing wrong with that. It is heritage. Um, to one point, even one person said, and, and this Confederate flag is heritage, and, and this is my farm that my family owned. Who worked on that farm? Uh, my family did. We were poor. Do you know how much the slaves cost back then? <laughs> wow, that was totally not the point, dude. Um... And so, yeah, uh, continuing on. But while finding it necessary and right to use force to defend their own liberty, their own interests, their own class, their own country, every faction has, in the name of their particular own particular code of values, gone on to condone, condemn violence when this in turn and this is turned against them by others who seek to defend their freedom, their interests, their class, their country. Thus, those who is thus the thus those same people who in Italy, for instance, rightly glorify the War of Independence and erect statues of marble and bronze to Agulus Manolio, Felicia Orzaras, is going to be a abundance, and those who raise their voices in passionate pleas need to Sophia. Perseverance, I'm terribly sorry for picturing all those Italian names, and the other martyrs of distant countries have treated as criminals the anarchists when they set out to demand total liberty and equal justice for all and openly declare that so long as oppression and privilege are defended by brute force the by the brute force of the bayonet, popular insurrection, the revolt of the individual and the masses of the people will continue to be the necessary means for bringing about their emancipation. I remember that at the time of an anarchist attendee, which causes something of a sensation, one leading light in the Socialist Party, newly returned from in the Greco-Turkish War, proclaimed with the backing of his comrades that human life is always sacred and that not even the cause of liberty calls for an attack on human life. It seems that he made an exception of the lives of the Turks and, ca and caused the Greeks and the cause of Greeks' independence. Illogical or hypocrisy. Yet, um, a yet anarchist is the only violence that can be justified, and the only violence that is not criminal. I speak, of course, of the violence which has truly anarchist characteristics, not of the various blind and irrational acts of violence attributed to anarchists, or which have indeed been committed by real anarchists, rose by the abominable persecution, or blind through a irrational ex excess of feeling and by the sight of social justice, sorrow of other sorrows. Uh, real anarchist violence ceases where there the need for defense and liberation ceases. It is tempted by the awareness that individuals taken in isolation are hardly, if at all, responsible for, posi for positions which, are, which heredity or environment has bestowed upon them. It is inspired not by hatred by, but love. It is like sacred because its goal of, is the liberation of all and not the substitution of one form of domination with another uh yeah i'm gonna like comment here now this is written in 1924 after like the anarchist um self-identified anarchist that assassinated uh the, the american president mckinley and the other and well after like uh, many times um uh, other anarchists like uh um, Use the uh, propaganda of the deed uh, to form acts that felt that they could galvanize the like proletariat and working class to be able to like bring about the necessary revolution that they felt 
that they were desired to have. That was hard to have for the emancipation of people. I swear, English tea time is just black, regular black tea. I don't know why it's called English tea time. I mean, maybe the English love their black tea. Um, yeah, but it's just, it tastes like just regular old black tea. Uh, oh, okay, so not much left of this essay. So this was the short essay of the two. Um, so I think I'll continue on and, and bring my final points. Um, there has been in Italy a party which, with the most civilized aims in mind, did its utmost to extinguish any trust in the efficiency of violence in the mass of the people, and has rendered them powerless to put up any resistance to the abhorrent, uh, to the advent of fascism. It strikes me that the Turon uh, that the Turandine, uh, in Italian uh, Socialist Party leader, has more or less admitted and regretted the fact that, that in his Paris speech in Memories of Journalists, the assassinated leader of the French Socialists. Mm hmm. Anarchists are not hypocritical. Force must be countered with force. Uh, today's against today's oppression. Tomorrow against forms of oppression which might seek to replace today's. We want liberty for all and for ourselves and for our friends as well as for like adversaries and enemies. Freedom of thought and freedom uh, to propagate our own viewpoint. Freedom to work and organize our own lives in the way we want. Not, of course, freedom. And yet, uh, and let the communists not advocate, not freedom to suppress from, free, not freedom to suppress freedom and to exploit the work of others. Uh, so yeah, I think it's like in, in here, uh, like with this uh, particular like socialist leader, probably is kind of regretted just like by advocating for nonviolence, that kind of just allowed like the violence to like uh, happen to like someone that got assassinated and something like that. Oh no, we should not react violence in that. But like, how is it fine for like the violence being acted upon us? And don't forget also the entire system of violence of the oppression from the bourgeoisie against the proletariat as well. <coughs> <coughs> mm. I don't think I have anything um, more to add to this particular essay. Um, it's kind of like a reaffirming some things, but with some particular details of like happened uh, of the time as well. Um, I think the first one was better, but like nothing wrong with uh, this essay. But now I finally am changing over to uh, a new essay. Uh, this one, um, again, I'm going.